This video is going to review neutralization reactions. So what is neutralization? A neutralization reaction is a chemical change when an acid and a base react and the product to this reaction is always a salt and water. Sometimes people believe that salt is the specific name for sodium chloride or table salt. This is not the case. Salt is a generic term that refers to the ionic compound formed from this reaction. Acids contain the hydronium ion and bases contain the hydroxide ion. They react in a double replacement reaction that you learned earlier in this course. Here's one example of a neutralization reaction. Hydrochloric acid reacts with potassium hydroxide to form potassium chloride and water. I recognize the acid because the hydrogen in front of this formula, and I recognize the base because it has the hydroxide ion at the end of the formula. Water is always H2O, so then the salt is potassium chloride, KCl. Here are a couple other examples. Can you recognize each part of these reactions as, as with the example labeled above? I see the hydrogen ion in the front of the first compound, which tells me these are the acids. We see hydroxide in each of the second reactants, which identifies them as a base. The first product in each reaction is written as the salt, and the second product is the water. Now you try. Copy these two reactions. See if you can determine what products will form. Remember that these are double replacement reactions. Once you write your products, identify the acid, base, salt, and water. When you write the formula for the salt, always use the charges of the ions. Pause the video here to work on these. You may restart the video when you have your answers. Here are the answers to the two practice problems. In the first problem, nitric acid reacts with barium hydroxide, and the products are barium nitrate and water. In the second reaction, phosphoric acid reacts with calcium hydroxide to form calcium phosphate and water. How did you do? While neutralization reactions are an important part of this chemistry course, there are also some interesting applications of these reactions outside of our class. For example, in our digestive system, food gets mixed with gastric juice in our stomach, which is acidic. But when food travels to your intestines to be absorbed, it must be neutralized by bicarbonate that's produced by our pancreas. If our stomach produces too much acid, we may experience an upset stomach or heartburn. When this happens, we take an antacid tablet, which is usually made with calcium hydroxide or magnesium hydroxide, which are alkaline. Another application of a neutralization reaction is in wastewater treatment. Industrial waste products often require neutralization so they do not harm the environment or our water supply. Treatment plants like the one in this image commonly use calcium carbonate, calcium oxide, or sodium bicarbonate to control the pH values of the wastewater. In this unit, you have learned about indicators of pH, like litmus or phenolphthalein. Well, did you know that nature has its own pH indicator in the hydrangea plant? This flower will produce blue or purple blooms in acidic soil and red or pink blooms in alkaline or basic soil. If a gardener wants to adjust the pH of the soil, they may add calcium hydroxide or limestone, which is calcium carbonate, to the soil to raise the pH. Or they may add fertilizer, which contains ammonia, to neutralize the sulfuric acid or nitric acid found in the soil. The color of the hydrangea, as you see in this image, can be controlled just knowing a little bit of acid-base chemistry.